Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Friday, September 25th, 2009. Well, folks, the markets are on the downside again today as the continued breakdown occurs just like my partner predicted it would post-Federal Reserve meeting. It was a beautiful call by him made in the chat room that morning before the Fed meeting. Went out to all our premium subscribers like that in the chat room. Sure enough, the markets broke down and continued to break down yesterday and have continued to break down even further today. The beauty of today, folks, and this is amazing, but we talked about key levels to our premium guys last night in the Research Center videos. And by the way, everything listed under the Research Center comes with the Research Center video, Daily Market Report, and everything else listed there. But we talked about how if you broke a key level today, you were going to go to 104 even number. 104 would be the low even number low that you'd watch for support to come in. And guess what? The markets did break that low. I'm going to discuss it today a little bit here, and we'll go over that and show you that. But by the way, the markets again lower on the day. I'll give you a little update on the markets right now. The Dow is down 50 points, the NASDAQ down 19, and the S&P 500 down 7.5. But the key today, folks, some not-so-good economic news coming out. A continued kind of whipsaw action in the dollar has been up, down, every which way. The amazing thing about the dollar is that it continues to show a little bit of a change in character here. And what do I mean by that? Well, the dollar is actually negative on the day, and the markets are still uh, down. And that's very, very unusual. Granted, the dollar has make a, made a comeback, driving the markets lower. But the amazing thing this morning that we noted here was that the dollar actually collapsed, and you saw the markets actually go sideways right here the SPY, and this is the chart of the SPY 10-minute, so you're looking at a 10-minute intra time frame period uh, mirroring the S&P 500. The dollar was actually weaker right here and moving slightly lower, and the markets could not get a bounce. That was a very, very significant signal that the markets may go down on any small bounce in the dollar, and sure enough, the dollar did bounce, and that has pushed the markets down. So again, just to reiterate, we've talked about how key the dollar is to this market, whether the dollar goes down, and then the markets go up, and vice versa. If the dollar goes up, the markets come down, but there was a change in slight character today where you saw the dollar actually coming down early till about 11.30 a.m. this morning, and the markets actually were not at their highs. You would have expected that when the low of the day was made on the dollar, which again, and I'll show you the chart here. Let me put up the chart on the UUP. The low of the day was made at this 200 moving average right here at about 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. However, check this out. At 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, the markets were still pretty much just off their lows right here. Then the dollar started to bounce, which drove down the market. So the bouncing moving up on the dollar is pushing the markets down, but the moving down on the dollar is not pushing the markets up right now. You're not seeing that happen, which is a very, very important thing to realize and a little bit of a change in character. We have not seen that in months, folks, in months. Now, does that mean that we're going to see new lows and continue selling next week? Well, that's up in the air. We'll have to discuss that in tonight's we, uh, nightly video for the premium guys in the research center. But the bottom line is here, you have to recognize key breakdown points. Yesterday in the video to our premium guys, I said, watch this level, the 104.75, which got hit early here. Look at this right here. And then all throughout the afternoon session, you tried to get below it. You could not. Today, we gapped down below it, but then we did not confirm that move and moved up. And then you could see what happened. We kept on hitting on that 104.75 level, finally breaking down below it and going down to the lows here. Now, the beauty of this call was, I said yesterday, and I said this to all our premium guys, I said, if 104.75 breaks... On the SPY, you will go to 104. That is your next big support level. Guess where we went, folks? 104.09 today. So you came right down onto that level. You have to know these levels, folks. They're so important for the market. We have now achieved that target in the near term. That's the other thing to remember. The target has been achieved on the downside. So you now, at this point, you have to get a close below 104, or you have to favor the upside. And look at that. That's the way we talked about in the chat room, and I said that to my chat guys. I said that to the research center guys. Each level, until you get below it and confirm, you can't look for more downside. So when you come down to 104, then you look for a bounce off of 104. And sure enough, right here was the 104 level, and I'll put it right in. There's your 104 right here at 104. You can see it right over in this area. What happens? The market gets a bid right off of it. you got to understand how this works. you got to understand how this market is working right now. And if you can understand the technical, the technical levels, and if you get these levels that we give out to hedge funds and money managers alike, plus the individual investor who cares enough to fully get them and pay for them and understand them. And again, we only charge $49.99 a month. It's about the cheapest you can get. But in any case, hedge fund managers are getting these numbers, folks. You're getting them ahead of them. You're getting them with them. You have to know these levels because these are where the hedge fund managers, the money managers, are stepping up to buy the market based off of these levels as well. It's important to know that. It's important to realize that. Now, 
couple other things to look at. First of all, you have a nice bounce here off 104. We knew that 104 would be support. I mentioned that last night to our premium guys. I actually stressed it multiple times, and I've stretched, it, stretched the one, uh, stressed the 104 level in the past two months probably as a master level. But you can see that bounce coming in. Now you're starting to create a little bit of a bullish flag pattern here, actually. So 104 has been, target has been achieved. You now start to look for a little bit of a possibility of an up move off of this pattern. Now, if you fail to do that, you're going to look for 104 to still hold. So we'll retrace back down. We'll look for confirmation at 104, and that's where you would look for support. If that breaks, and only if that breaks, again, on a daily close would be ideal, but even intraday, if that breaks, you have to confirm it intraday for more downside. Even on a daily break, then we'd watch for the next level down. What's the next master level on the way down after 104 to look for a big bounce or a good solid bounce? That, again, will not be told out in this video. Is This video is just to give you guys an idea of what we do to really watch for. All right. A couple other things. I want to show you the 60-minute chart. Look at this beautiful M top. Beautiful M top continuation to the downside. You can make a case that you had a little bit of an A pattern here formation, which is what we would look for for a bearish pattern. And then you've had a downdraft to 104. 104 target again, folks, is hit today based on the low of the day at 104.09 on the downside. So you got to know your levels. There again, check out that beautiful double top M top pattern and then a possible A with more downside to come maybe next week. We'll have to see. But again, target achieved. Target achieved from 108. My partner again called the 108. We told the double top up there. You've had a four-point drop on the SPY from peak to trough now. That is a sizable drop in the markets, about 3.9%, 3.8% drop in the markets in about three, two and a half days, really. Two days to today and then the Fed meeting. After the Fed meeting, obviously, was a half day or so on the downside. Now, what are we looking for? You guys, again, you want to see, I'll go over the levels on the intraday. We're going to go back to the intraday chart, and I'll post these. On the upside, you're going to have a little resistance to the 20 moving average here, which is going to be at 104.50. If you get through 104.50, 104 75, which was a lot of resistance on the way down, uh, excuse me, support on the way down, now broken, that will be resistance on the way back up. You got to watch that very, very closely, folks. 104.75, big level there. If we can close above 104.75, you actually could get a sizable move all the way back to 105.35. 105.30. So watch that again very closely. These are your levels on the upside. You have to know them. This 104.75 is the big one. If you get through that intraday, then you very well could go back to 105.35, 105.30 downside support remains at 104. If you get through 104, look for 103.50 near term. It's not a master level, but you'll look for support right in that area. And then again, as I said, in tonight's premium research video, we will unveil the new move to look for next week in this market. Be ready for it. Be ready to profit for it. I took off another plus 10%, over 10% gain on a short ETF that I gave to the chat room, gave it to the research center, my SRS, SRS, which is two times short the real estate. I bought at 930 for the chat room, and I told the guys in the research center the night of about a couple weeks ago or a week ago when I bought that, and then I sold it today at ten thirty-five for a dollar five cents on a nine dollar thirty-five cent nine nine dollar thirty cent entry. So the profits are there to be had. You have to be on top of this. Again, come join the research center. That's where you're going to get this stuff, or the chat room. If you can do it intraday, then that's just as well as well. We'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful Friday. We'll see you on the weekend, and we'll see you next week. Enjoy the market. Take care.